Hello, as promised, it's Desiree's Doodles, and I have a cute little video that I want to show to make these adorable little bags. Aren't they cute? This idea I found from Kay Kalkoff, and she did a great video, but I thought I'd give you some tips and tricks on what I did to make mine. Um, this time of year is Christmas, as you can hear from the Christmas music in the background, um, but I've been having fun making these, so I thought I'd share. So what you need is a six by six piece of paper, the envelope punch board, and then any kind of embellishments that you want for the bag. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm gonna use a piece of our pretty Christmas paper that's in the occasions right now. So if you haven't gotten it, you better get it before the they're all gone because December 1st, this paper is gonna be going on sale. So um, what you wanna do as I said, we're going to be using the envelope punch board. And if you're new to this tool, it's pretty cool. As you see, you can make any kind of envelope that you want. And if you notice here on the grid, you have up to 60 different combinations. So all you need to do is find the size of your card. And then it tells you what size paper you need. And then the first side, you're always going to score. Um, you're going to measure and score, and that's the only time that you would measure. Don't do what I did when I first got this. I thought I had to do this on every single side. No, just once. But if you notice here, it's got directions. I just got so excited I didn't read them. <laughs> so they're pretty cool. I want to show you just quickly. Here is some of the pretty envelope paper that we have in the Big Occasions catalog. If you notice here, we've got Jingle Bells. And um, this one is for a standard size card, which is an A2 card. So it literally is just finding your first point here. And what I did is went, the measurements told me to go to three and three quarters. So I went that far. You're gonna punch and you're gonna score. And then I know it's hard to see on here, but you're gonna use this line that you scored, turn it here and use this little kick plate to line it up with the, fir the first line that you scored, then you're gonna punch score all the way around, so four times. Um, but that can be another video, but just wanted to give you a quick idea what this board can do. If you go to Pinterest and actually put in envelope punch board, you'll find lots of other projects other than envelopes that you can make with this board, it's pretty cool. So for today's project, I'm gonna put this down. We're actually going to do punching and scoring twice on one side. So here's your measurements. It's going to be one and three eighths inches and then four inches. Okay. So what I'm going to do is pull out our scoring tool that's stored right in here and put this down. I'm going to take my paper. I'm going to use a black side because it's a little bit easier to see when you, when I'm trying to show. So if you look here, I'm at one and three eighths. So I'm going to punch and then I'm gonna score. I'm gonna follow this line right here, and now I'm not pushing too terribly hard. I just want so I can see that crease, okay? So now I'm gonna move this over to four, and again, punch and score, okay? So I'm gonna do this all the way around, and notice that I take the lines when I turned it one way. I'm gonna use those lines, line it up with this little kick plate here, punch, score okay go all the way around to find our lines punch score punch score okay punch yeah remember twice on each side one more side here punch score punch score okay so if you look at your paper, you got a whole bunch of lines, grid lines, and that's what we're going to use to assemble our bag. So I'm going to take this and put this aside. And now I'm going to take my scraps. If you notice here, you're going to have two sides that match, oh, two sides that match, and then these two. So the ones that are bigger, so these two right here, we're going to cut in with our paper snips just to that first uh, score line, okay? So we're gonna make two cuts on each side. So there's one, two, and then I'm gonna come here, come here, 
okay? So you've got your four cuts done now, all right? So on this box, I want the green to be on the outside. So I'm gonna turn it like this, and I'm going to fold every time I see a score line, okay? I'm gonna turn here. This, this part's pretty easy. And just keep turning and folding. Turn and fold. Okay. One more side. Look at Frosty go. See, it's all good. <laughs> okay, so you got all these folds. So next you're going to take your sticky strip, which is just double-sided tape, and we're going to need four pieces about this big. So I'm going to just put them on my finger so I have them go. I love our tear and tape because I don't need my scissors. Okay, so I got my four pieces here, right? And what I'm looking for are like my wing pieces. Okay, so I'm going to turn it like this. I'm going to put one on each one of my wings. So if you look right here, I'm putting it right on the edge. Okay, just about got it here. So close. So close. Okay. So now I can see all my tapes here. Just make sure that it's on the inside, um, the inside edges because we're going to take it and go like this. So now I'm going to peel off my strip. I'm going to turn this. Okay. So now I'm bringing this right here. Okay. So that's our first one. I know it's kind of hard to see with the plaid, but. Bear with me. I think Kay called this like the diaper folding. And as you see here, when I bring this, it's kind of that cross hatch when you're doing diapers, right? Okay, so that's one side of the bag. All right, we're gonna come on this side, and get this in here, and just peel off that protective layer. And do this, okay. And I, um, Kay, I know had said to put uh, adhesive dots, and I tried that, and I think we did that in class. But what I found out is when I was putting heavy candy in there, the dots weren't holding up. So you just want to make sure that you're getting that adhesive at the bottom, and it's just at the bottom because if you look here, you can see that pretty paper on the inside. So it's. It's kind of open, we're just sealing that so the box doesn't fall apart, okay? All right, so there's that. The last step is going to be to decide if you wanna fold these down or if they go in, all right? So if you want a really clean looking box and it all green, you could do that. Or you can see your coordinating color. I always like to see the coordinating. So then, your box or bag is complete. Cool, right? So I want to show you one more trick with the handles. All right. So I'm going to take this red piece of paper and I'm using an oval punch. Looks like three and three quarters and 15, 15 sixteenths of an inch. You can use any oval or circle, but what I'm doing is I'm going to cut out this out of a piece of scratch paper and if you notice I always use my punches upside down because then I can use my my paper the best I can so I'm not wasting but I always like to use my punches upside down so good tip there if you've never heard it so if you look at my oval I'm going to take my fast fuse and I'm just putting a little bit of adhesive there and pick it up with my finger I'm going to touch it a couple times to remove some of the sticky Okay, why am I doing that? Because I'm gonna use this as a guide to put my holes. So I'm just kind of eyeballing where I think it would go. And then here's my punch again upside down. And this way I know how deep to go in there. So Kay came up with that and I just thought that was a really good idea because when you're sticking that punch in there blindly, you really don't know 
where that hole should go. So I'm gonna do one more side here. And we're almost done. How fun. Okay. And that is the finished product. So then you're just gonna put some ribbon on there and um, the product's good. So I wanna show you some of the ideas that I've come up with on this one, okay? So first, I wanna show you these because it's so fun. This paper is a specialty paper out of the big catalog right now and it's a foil frenzy and hopefully the green, yeah, you can see that green. Isn't that pretty? And all I did was use some of our stitched embellishments that are in the holiday catalog and just some ribbon that I had on hand but I love it just make it easy because they're cute all on their own so let me show you a couple more here these now I have to tell you these are not stamp it up um, but I did find these at Target and I loved them because the button was already on them and they're both wood embellishments and they have um, the adhesive on them all you have to do is peel them off the paper and I stuck them right on there and then this is the stitch framelits, but aren't they just cute? Okay. And then of course, the ones that I started with. So I hope you have lots of fun with these. Again, here's, I'm gonna put the measurements. One and three eighths, four inches, only once, only on one side, and then use your, your kick stand there to make sure that you're aiming it up with what you did on the side before. and share what you've done. I want to see what you guys can come up with. I thought these would be cute for baby showers, um, maybe a May Day basket, but um, the sky's the limit with these. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, again, this is Desiree with Desiree's Doodles. Thanks for stopping by.